Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. Stay safe and stay inside only. Please don't get out. Um, today, let us solve only one problem. And uh, actually, I have some work today, so only one problem we'll be able to solve. So this problem is called game with string. So let I uh, request you to pause the video and uh, read the problem statement by yourself. So we are given a string of lowercase English alphabets and a number K task is to print the minimum value of the string after removing K characters. What is minimum value? Value of the string is defined as sum of squares of count of each distinct character. Sum of squares, sum of squares of count of each distinct character. So if we have to consider the first example, so first example, the string given is A, B, C, 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 and K is equal to one. So we should remove one character from uh, the string and print the minimum value of the string. So what is the frequency of A? Frequency of A is one, frequency of B is two, frequency of C is three. So obviously in this example, it makes sense to remove one character from C. So frequency, sorry, frequency of B is one. I'm sorry for that. So it is obvious to remove one character from C. So frequency of C becomes two. So what is the minimum value? One square plus one square plus two square. So in this example, it was very easy. We just had to sort the entire array and whichever frequency is maximum from that we have to subtract the K value. So this was a very straightforward example. But will this always work if we sort the array only once? If we sort the array only once, will this always work? So what we should see is, let us see another example now. So let me write this down. So let us write the example down, uh, A, A, B, C, B. So the example is A, A, B, C, B, and C, B, C, A, C, B, C, A, B, C, C. And K value given over here is three. Okay, K is given three. So what is the frequency of A? Frequency of A is a three. Frequency of B is what? One, two, three, four. Frequency of C is equal to five. So now what we have done is we have got the frequencies of all the characters. And if you can observe that C is having highest frequency, okay? C is having highest frequency and K value is three over here. So if I remove three characters from C, so I will be left with two characters. So now if I calculate the value of the string, what will be the answer? Three square plus four square plus two square. It is going to be what? Three square plus four square plus two square. 25 plus four is 29. So this is the answer if I remove three characters from C. However, what if I do this? I will remove, first of all, let me erase this. Uh, so first, if I just remove one character, so frequency of C becomes four. Then I sort the array again. I sort all the values again and I get the same order, three, four, four. Okay, then I remove again one character from C. So I get this four, three, three. Again, I will sort the array. So it will become three, three, four. Now, if I remove one character, see, now B has a maximum frequency. I'll remove a character from B. 
So if I remove a character from B, then this is going to become three. So three, 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 three square plus three square plus three square is 27. So earlier we had got 29, but now we are getting 27. So 27 is minimal. So this is how we have to get the uh, answer. But what did we do now? What is important to understand? It is important to understand that after we decrease a particular character's frequency, we need to sort the array again and again. So why should we sort it? Why should the array elements be sorted? Basically, instead of saying sorted, I should say that we should always know the uh, maximum frequency. We should always deal with the maximum frequency. But how do we deal with it every time? We have to remove a frequency. We have to remove a, uh, this thing. We have to decrease the frequency from the maximum frequency and then apply this operation repeatedly. So one by one, one by one, we have to apply this operation. Then only we can get minimal answer. So whenever we have to get the elements in sorted order again and again, that is repeatedly we have to sort, it is better to use priority queue. So heap concept over here, data structure heap is beneficial. Priority queue we can use because priority queue will help us get the elements in what order? Maximum to minimum order only, right? So that property of priority queue will help us here because we always want the maximum element and we want to decrease the frequency of that maximum element just by one. So we'll decrease the frequency and push it back into the priority queue. As we could see in the example over here, C, the uh, frequency of C was five. I decreased one, it became four. I decreased one, it became three. But when it became three, it was not the maximum frequency because B was having frequency four. So I needed that frequency. If I did not sort the array again, then it would make no sense. So we have to make use of priority queue. How to find frequency of the characters? Just take a hash table. So it is hashing plus the data structure priority queue. So priority queue we had to use in this problem. So let us see the code. Uh, I think this is better. Yeah. See, I've used a hash array and I initially set all the values. Those, there can be 26 alphabets, right? So 26 values are there. And I have got the frequency of each and every alphabet. Now I've taken a priority queue. After I took the priority queue, if the frequency of an element is not zero, if it is zero, I don't need it. I can't do anything. That means that element is not even there in the string. That alphabet is not there in the string. So if it is not zero, I will push the frequency into priority queue. And while k, that means until k is greater than zero. I can perform k operations, right? I can do k times. So I will take the top element of the priority queue. I will pop it out from the priority queue and I will decrease the value by one and I'll decrease k also by one because it means I removed that character from the string. If I'm decreasing the frequency, it means I'm removing a character, right? Then I will push back. I will push it back into the priority queue. When I push it back, it is having the heap property, right? So when I push it back, it will go and take its place. So this I think will take n log n time. Most probably I think heap takes n log n only. Or uh, actually no, heap uh, minimum maximum will have, if you have to find minimum, if you have to find minimum maximum, I think it that will take log n time. But I think inserting will take n log, just tell me in the, comments. Is it n log n for insertion operation or log n? So then uh, actually this question should have been a part of heap. There is heap also in this list, right? But because it is priority Q, so it has been included here. Then while the Q is not empty, I will just uh, get the frequency of each and every remaining character or I should say just the remaining frequencies. And uh, they say value of the string, string is sum of squares of the frequency. So Q dot top whole square. So Q dot top will represent the frequency, right? So whole square. And I have to add it to answer and remove the top element. 
so this was the problem so that was the problem and i hope you understood the logic priority queue why we had to use priority queue because every time we had to get the maximum frequency and i think insertion will worst case be log n time not n log n so i think the complexity of is it given here let us see yeah so yeah, so the overall complexity of this algorithm is n log n actually k i should say k i believe n log n so log n time is for insertion in one operation in the heap priority queue so that's all for this video if you liked it please share it with all your friends subscribe to the channel if it made an impact in your life it will really motivate me and it has uh, kept uh, driving me so far so please do uh, like the video and uh, Stay safe, keep learning, keep growing, stay tuned. Bye.